Do you have advice for young people today in high school, in college, of how to live a life as uh, nonlinear and, and su <laughs> as successful as yours? Nonlinear. <laughs> a life that could be uh, they could be proud of. Well, Lex, that's that's a super compliment. I'm I'm humbled by that. Actually, I I would say a life they can be proud of. Uh, honestly, one thing that I've said to people is. <laughs> First, um, find people you love and care about them. Like family matters to me a lot. And family means people you love and have committed to, right? So it can be whatever you, you, you mean by that, but it's, it, you need to have a foundation. Uh, so find people you love and want to commit to and do that because um, it anchors you in a way that nothing else can, right? And then, and then you find thing, other things. And then kind of from out, out there, you find other kinds of things you can commit to, whether it's ideas or or people or groups of people. Um, so, you know, especially in high school, I would say don't settle on what you think you know, <laughs> right? Give yourself 10 years <laughs> to think about the world. Like there's, I see a lot of high school students who, who seem to know everything already. Mm -hmm. I, I think I did too. I think it's maybe natural, but, but recognize that the things you care about, you might change your perspective over mm -hmm. time. I certainly have over time. As you know, I was really passionate about one specific thing, and that's kind of softened. You know, I was a big. Um, I didn't like the Federal Reserve, right? Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> there's still we can have a longer conversation about monetary policy and yes. finances, but but I'm a little more uh, nuanced in my <laughs> in my perspective at this point. Um, but you know, that's that's one area where you learn about something. And go, oh, I want to attack it. You know, build, don't destroy. Like, mm build like so much so often the tendency is to not like something they want to go attack it mm -hmm. build something build something to replace it yeah build up you know attract people to your new thing you'll get far, you'll be far more far better right you don't need to destroy something to build something else um so that's i guess generally uh and then you know definitely uh like curiosity <laughs> you know follow your curiosity mm -hmm. and and let it um don't just follow the money and all of that, like you said, is grounded in um, family, friendship, and ultimately love. Yes. Which is uh, a great way to end it. Uh, Travis, you're one of the most impactful people in the engineering, the computer science, in the human world. So I truly appreciate everything you've done. And I really appreciate that you would spend your valuable time with me. It was an honor. It was a real pleasure for me. I appreciate that.